Florida teachers are getting a pay raise. Yeah, Governor DeSantis says that he will approve what he's calling a record increase in teacher pay. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar is joining us now live. And Aaron, the goal is to make working in Florida more competitive. To do that, the governor says he will approve more than $1 billion in teacher pay included in this year's budget. That's a $252 million increase over last year. He has not signed the budget yet, but he did sign a bill adding other incentives for teachers. That includes signing bonuses for first responders and veterans who want to become teachers. Florida still faces some stiff competition. Before the pay increase, the state was 48th in the nation for average teacher salaries, and other states are also raising salaries this fall. Florida was 46th when DeSantis took office. It could be harder, though, for teachers to fight for better pay. Yesterday, the governor signed sweeping legislation that would require users to certify if membership drops below 60% of all teachers in that district. Also, if teachers want to stay in a union, they would have to write monthly checks to pay dues. Unions would also have to tell members what the salaries are for their top five paid officials. The Florida Education Association calls this action punishment for opposing some of the governor's policies. It released a statement saying, quote, the governor may have let his desire to crush perceived opponents get the best of him. This new law grossly oversteps in trying to silence teachers, staff, professors, and most other public employees. We will not go quietly. Our students and our professors and simply are simply too important. DeSantis says these changes will allow teachers to take home more money and will allow them to have more freedoms. These, these changes do not affect what law enforcement unions have to do. Also happening at 10 o'clock this morning, the Florida Education Association will hold a virtual news conference as a way to respond to the newly signed bills from yesterday. Again, that press conference is happening at 10 o'clock this morning. It will be virtual. Reporting live, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.